going on guys it's tyler here with test coast waterfowl so today we're going to be doing a gear review i just purchased some of those dive bomb zip waders but i figured i'd do like a little rundown of them uh my first impressions of it i've not ran them yet so i can't give you my personal feedback on how they handle or how they hold up to everything hopefully at towards the end of the season i'm gonna give you a little rundown on it i don't do a lot, whole lot of water hunting and stuff but i do some uh probably ain't gonna be one out there putting a lot of abuse on them but i do a lot more field hunting than i do anything but i'll give you my honest opinion on them i'm not gonna i'm not paid by dive bomb I'm not sponsored by dive bomb none of that good stuff so this will be my personal opinion just to just to go ahead and say i do run a lot of dive bomb products i really like dive bomb the reason why it just works for us our particular style of hunting that me and Wyatt do uh we travel from montana north dakota kansas nebraska oklahoma texas we travel all over hunting um we don't have the room to be carrying 50 dozen full bodies in our trailer i mean there's no telling what we're going to be hunting so we gotta stay mobile we gotta stay uh where we can adapt to whatever's happening so if there's snow geese out there we have snow goose socks everything like that honkers we got canada silos ducks got duck silos i mean we make sure that we are we can stay adapted for whatever is happening so that's the reason why we run dive bombs if we try to do those in full bodies or whatever then it's not going to be the best we don't have that much room to play with so let's get to the unboxing of the dive bomb waiters all right guys so here is the dive bomb I already opened up the box these are the dive bomb zip waders a four flex material supposed to be like a stretchy membrane to it let's dive into it let's try them on inside the box of course you got your waders here comes with a repair kit hopefully i won't need this but it does come with a repair kit this does lead me to talk about one reason why i went with dive bomb uh I know a lot of people are going to be like, why didn't you go with Shin? Why didn't you go with Sitka Waders? They're just knockoffs of those two brands. Honestly, the reason why is because I, I have Dive Bomb products. I've never personally been let down by them. I hear a lot of horror stories about Sitka and their warranty and stuff like that. People buying something from Sitka and them not holding up their end of the bargain whenever it comes to taking them back and then repairing them or, or just exchanging the the garment in general uh shin i hear good things about shin i honestly uh i hear that their customer service is great uh i like that old school patterns that they're doing on their waders i do think that's really cool i just don't like the way that they look um that's just just my opinion i like the solid colors but i just don't like the way that they look up top and everything like that and then of course the dive bomb waders came out and i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try them probably people are gonna hate like they always do but i figured i would just give them a give them a trial even though it's my money and i bought them <laughs> i just wanted to try them they're cheaper than both sitka and uh shin and i'm never have an issue with dive bomb i, I can't stress that enough there i mean that's the reason why i want to run this particular product i do get a little ocd about certain things i'm one of those kind of people that like to once I get a brand, I like to stay with the brand. I like to make sure everything matches with it, not mismatching parts, whatever. It's so like decoy spreads where you're like that, like our dive bomb, uh, A-frame in the bed of the truck, all that stuff, dive bomb, like blind bags, gun bags, all that stuff. We like to try to, I personally like to try to match the brand. Uh, just like the, probably just OCD in me. I guess. Less talking. Let's go ahead and try these bad boys on. Also, I'm not knocking those other two brands. I, I believe Sitka does make good products. I don't personally wear anything made by Sitka. And also, it's just because I, I make fun of people who wear Sitka. The whole, uh, that rich mentality. I just think it's funny. People get offended really easy. Shin. Shin was my other choice. If it wasn't for the, the dive bomb ones coming out, I would have went with Shin. Sheen, Shen, however you say that. I don't know how to say it. That's why I didn't even get them, because I didn't know how to pronounce their name. Nice, solid zipper. Really heavy. I like that. I mean, real solid. Uh, doesn't feel doesn't feel cheap. 
All right. So probably can't see the full size, but for reference, I'm 6'2", I'm 230 pounds. These are the large, tall, where size 12, large, tall model. First thing right off the bat, they are super comfortable. I've had other waders. I, I got a pair of banded Aspire waders in there. They're not bad. They're real baggy and stuff on me. I want a little bit more of a fitting waiter, uh, but not like the fitting of a neoprene, right? I don't like that sucks together to my legs once I step off in the water. I wanted that breathable material. We hunt down here in Southeast Texas, weather changes like crazy. I mean, I got a hoodie on, but I think it's like 65 degrees out right now. We're, we're talking about, we're mid-December. Some of the features, you have your chest pockets, waterproof chest pockets. I like the little overlaps on the zippers. That does make a difference for waterproofing, at least in my experience with waterproof bags and everything. Something to cover up those zippers so nothing drains down in there when it's raining. You have side pockets or your hand warmers. I will say about these hand warmers, they're really smart. I, I can't recall on the Sitka ones uh, or the Shin ones, but these have that zipper that closes up the hand warmer pocket. I've had some some waders where they don't have that. So once you wade into chest deep water, right, your hand warmers ain't so ain't so warm. They get damp inside that fleece material. Water gets in there, makes it all soggy. Makes you I don't even want to put my hands in there. I'll end up putting my hands up here or something like that. But I will say that that is pretty cool having waterproof pockets over these. Uh, also just adds in more storage, but I like the the waterproof pockets Hand warmers, whatever adds more storage. I'm that run-and-gun style person Definitely if I'm out there wearing waders and stuff uh, if I'm hunting public land I like to be kind of minimalistic on what I carry out there camera gear alone uh, for me Takes up too much space that I like to be carrying so I like to keep stuff on me if all possible. Uh, that way my bag is dedicated just to camera gear and keeping my camera gear uh, out of the elements. But, got the reinforced knee pads. These look very similar to Sitka. I mean, the look of them looks similar. But you got the reinforced knee pads. You know, great for getting permission. Just joking. Uh, but maybe not. Depends how good that feed is the boots the boots are real heavy the boots are really thick they seem kind of heavy um uh, whatever i mean they are waiter boots the one thing i will say there's not a very heavy tread pattern some boots and stuff on waiters i've had they got that real thick heavy tread i personally am a big fan of that i mean this is real it's like dang near like almost a tennis shoe like i, I like that heavier tread uh if definitely if i'm gonna be walking over slick surfaces stumbling through flooded timber and stuff like that i want to have that heavier tread for me personally that is one feature i wish that would change it's got an elastic belt belt feels good nice secure it is elastic the material itself that's what i really want to kind of dive in on it's really like stretchy and flexible some of that breathable material is like i mean it's, it runs a little baggy on me but it's not flexible this is form fitting in a way and it's flexible you have the you have the uh the covers over the boots and stuff help with the waterproofing uh help with resistance over like walking through the brush and stuff like that getting out to the pond i mean honestly they're a solid waiter i haven't looked anywhere else i need to get back into the storage part of it i think they're yep so there is a cell phone pocket on the inside maybe you can see that the cell phone pocket there you have like a magnetic pocket here i love the storage feature storage is huge for me here's that there's that hand warmer pocket that's waterproof chest pockets real real deep i can fit my whole hand in there good size and there you go i don't wear waders a whole lot i used to but now i'm more into the field ducks and geese chasing them up north but if birds are on the water you can catch me on the water i mean all in all i think these are a solid feeling wader uh i would honestly recommend to look into them if you're interested i haven't 
personally ran them yet so hopefully you're gonna run them and see how they do whether you want to wait for my video come out and let you know the the durability test of them but as of right now just first impressions they are a solid waiter doesn't have the buckles up here i don't like buckles i like the i like the hooks helps with pulling up a shotgun you're not hanging up on stuff i don't like hanging up on my buckle i don't like the cheap buckles but yeah let's i want to get like a mobility test i'm all like running them just because I kind of want to see how like agile in them, you know, in case that game warden all green jeans out there or that skinwalkers out there, yeah, I'm fishing game at me in the tree line. I got a bolt, so. I mean, boots are a little heavy, but that's to be expected by waders. But they feel good. They, they don't bind up on me whenever I'm running. Hey, it's a good feature if I'm running from the game warden, right? But yeah, that's, that's it for the, the review. So one thing I want to mention is we're going to be doing some gear reviews, some um, hunting. We're going to try to teach the public how to freelance out of state hunt. A lot of people don't have that opportunity and don't know that that opportunity is available to them. How to freelance hunt and stuff like that, how to go up there and get permission. We're going to be walking through all that uh, on these videos. So if you are interested in these gear reviews or learning how we do what we do these diy out of state hunts then make sure you give us a follow on here subscribe hit the like comment down below what you want to see and we'll make it happen if you haven't check the the link in the bio on youtube legalized baiting hoodie we specialize in controversial style hunting designs hunting apparel we got some funny designs just in general. We got like celebrities. We got, like I said, legalized bait and legalized lead shot. Really special, specialize on the controversial side of things. I like it. People get offended really easy. And I just like making little jabs, poking at people, right? But check out the link in the bio, legalized baiting. I hope y'all enjoyed the, the dive bomb waiter review. Hopefully I can come back to y'all at the end of the season and tell y'all like, yeah, these held up or no, they didn't. I'm going to give you my honest feedback over it. I hate for y'all to go out there and waste y'all's money. Definitely in today's time, but everything's so expensive. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and we're going to catch you on the next one. Woo!